Now we can check out the main the main meat of the game. Let's start with Dawn of Sorrow. I'm curious to see how they've managed to fit it all onto one screen. Uh, let's see what options we have. One, two, three. Why would there be three screens? Okay, interesting. That's the original DS layout, I guess. I guess I'll just stick to that, if that's what they recommend. Use R and ZR for touch controls. You can also use the touch screen. Uh, okay, this is going to be awkward. Uh, N, I, C. Okay. I'm using this like, like that to draw. That is so awkward. That will do. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Another three screens. Yeah, I don't know what's going to be on the third screen. Guess we'll find out in a minute. Anyway, ever since the solar eclipse of 2035, my life has never been the same. It was then that I realised that Summer Cruise, the rebirth of Dracula, was his castle sealed within the eclipse. I learned the truth and possessed the power to seize the soul of my enemies. The enemy's power almost engulfed me, but my friends pulled me back from the brink. About a year has passed since then, and I thought my troubles were over. Wow, I just managed to catch that. Why do they have text that scrolls like that? Haha, <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, and that's when Hammer decided to... <coughs> Wait, Soma, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course, Mina, what's wrong? It's been a year since it all happened, hasn't it? Yeah, just about. And what was it called? You know, the ability to use the power of monsters? You mean the power of dominance? I lost it when we escaped Dracula's castle, remember? I know, but it's just that I get this terrible feeling inside. It's probably nothing. Look, don't worry, okay? This past year, I haven't been able to use any of the powers I gained, and... Is there something weird with the sprite scaling? Or maybe it's just because it's blown up so big it looks a bit strange. Uh, you, you're Soma Cruz, aren't you? Uh, yeah, and you are? You may call me Celia. And I am here to see your... see you dead. Come forth, my servants. Oh no. Look at that random pixelated car in the background that's just grey, even though the door's red. What? Mina, get back. Oh no. Just because he doesn't know how to take control of enemies doesn't mean he doesn't know how to fight them still. Damn it. One of the worst. It's just a regular skeleton. Mr. Aricardo. Genya Aricardo, the Guardian? Hmm. You shall not interfere. A barrier. Quick, Soma, use this. Knife. I have hands, I could just punch it. Alright, we got the ability to throw bones. Bullet type, tactical soul. Press up and Y. The sprites are so small compared to what we were just playing. Attack with a spinning gear, tactical soul. Press R to use. Don't kick me. Level up. Strength up, tactical soul takes effect when equipped, does not consume MP. There we go, strength up. I don't know whether it did that automatically or not. Why does it make me think of a Street Fighter level with the random cars in the background? Soma Cruz, I shall see your demise, that is certain, using whatever means. She didn't really try that hard. She sent like three enemies at me. Wait! Save your energy. You won't catch her now. Damn it. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. But that power, it returned. Ericardo, what's going on? The power didn't return. It was always within you. You just never had a need for it since you fled the castle. And that set free all the souls that you gained dominance over. You mean I couldn't use the power because I wasn't dominating any soul? Hmm. Anyway, who was that woman? She seemed to know you. Celia Fortner. She's the priestess of a new and rapidly growing cult. We suspected she was up to something, so we've been keeping tabs on her. But why would someone like that come after Soma? They want to resurrect the Lord of Darkness, like some sort to do with Dracula. I guess they don't like the fact that I didn't become the Lord of Darkness. Not only that, they intend to create a new Lord by eliminating you. Eliminating? But Soma, you don't need to get, to get any more involved with this. 
Let us deal with it. That woman, she said she would see my demise. So she has to get involved. Several days later. So the cult's base is here. Hammer's info was so iffy, iffy after all. Ha, huh, you doubted my word. Do you remember him from Aria of Sorrow, for anyone who's played that game? Hammer, what are you doing here? What, are you dense? Who told you about this place? Wait, it was me. Well, yeah, but... Hey, you got your mind on doing something wicked, huh? I want in, buddy. And hey, what happened to that pretty lady? You remember, right? You mean Yoko? She's not coming. In fact, I haven't told a soul. She ain't coming. Well, why, why not telling... Why not telling her, at least? That's some weird translation going on there. Shouldn't it be, why did you not tell her? Oh, I see what they've done with the two screens. They've actually got both of the uh, the menu screen and the map at the same time. That's really cool. Well, since I'm here, I better make the best of it. I guess I'm back in business and you're my customer. Look, I'm saying this for your own good. You really should leave. Can't do that, I'm afraid. I know when someone's in trouble and I'm not just going to leave you here. Okay, I appreciate it. I'll scope out the area and find a spot to set up shop. See you around. He has no face. Look at that sprite. It's just it's just a head. Why wouldn't he just tell her about this? Well, he instantly disappeared. Here we go. Now the game begins. The Lost Village. Oh, so, it's so satisfying, the movement in these games. It's so good. I don't remember the map starting filmed up like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why I can hear it twice. It's coming through there as well. Something just fell over. I heard some noise from outside. There's a lot of really cool sprite scaling in this game. And obviously, being a Metroidvania, there's a ton of uh, different paths that you can take and different. Uh... Oh, there we go. That's where you change it. Don't have anything else yet. Here we go, we've got a slightly bigger weapon now. How long have we been playing? About an hour. I was planning on playing um, some more Monkey Ball as well, but I might save that for next time, now that I've got started on this. I guess we can't go that way yet. It's sealed with magic. Playing this reminds me that I still need to try and track down a copy of Blue Angelo for the uh, GP32 now that I've got one. It was basically a Castlevania clone for that system, and it's incredibly hard to find. I remember this game being so grindy in, uh, in parts. And there's so many different things to, uh, to like, equip and stuff. Let's use the axe. Level up. I love the pace of this. That was always something I didn't like about Symphony. Like, although Symphony is a great game, obviously, the pacing is quite slow compared to the DS ones. Those two. Why does the guy have a thick black outline and the girl doesn't? Yeah, the music's so good. I still think out of all the Metroidvania-style Castlevania games, the one with the best music is actually Circle of the Moon, surprisingly, considering that's the first one. I think they just nailed the soundtrack in that game. So good. Yoko, Julius, what are you two doing here? Funny you should ask that. We got wind of this cult from a tip by Ericardo. I'm investigating with Mr. Belmont. I'm sure you remember him, the hunter. Julius Belmont. Soma, please understand if the darkness draws you in. I have no choice but to destroy you. Yes, I know. Then there is no reason for you to be here. That's right, you're only putting yourself in danger. That Celia woman, not only was she after me, she tried to harm Mina too. 
I'm not going to stop until I find her. You're determined, I say. Then I have nothing more to say. Wait, Julius, you can't... How can you just say that? You barely tried to convince him. I'll be going now. Wait a second, I'm coming too. No, Yoko, you stay. We need a contact here, just in case. Hey, wait, you can't just... Apparently he can just. Now he's gone. They're so selfish. I have no intention of going home either. Well, huh, fine then. Here, take this. I don't know why I thought she was going to punch me. And this is a magic seal. The cult leader appears to create gates that draw the power of darkness. Monsters exposed to that power are said to be invincible. So how am I supposed to destroy them? That's where this magic seal comes in. Want to practice using it? Sure, I'll give it a try. Watch closely. Draw a figure exactly as shown. Okay, now you try it. Okay, yeah, that, that works. So you just press the direction. You can practice drawing a magic seal anytime. If you're not sure how to do it, you should definitely practice. The magic seal activates on its own when it's needed. Give it a try and see. It's a dead end here. Only Julius could get in somewhere like this. We should go back and find a different way. There's no shelter from the rain and wind here either. Will you escort me? Sure, of course. Thanks. Let's go. That's a very elegant solution to the touchscreen problem. I think they did that the best they could. I'm still amazed that they also included a brand new 2D Castlevania game. Even if it was incredibly easy. Which is very rare for Castlevania. Oh, we can, I guess we can go and save as well, though. This door, it looks like you're going to magic seal right away. You only need to do it once. Most likely you'll need a magic seal to finish off the monster in here. Just be calm and focused, I'll be waiting. I wanted to go and save! Why are you locking me out? I guess we'll save after then. Gotta fight the boss first. I really love their sprite scaling. It looks so cool. Especially in Ecclesia. I remember they really went all out with the sprites in that game. It looks incredible. Yay, there we go. It's weird there's no um, reduce the speed of falling. It's weird that there's no impact to pressing the buttons. Like you can't tell. There's no sound. There's no visual cue really. It does feel a little tacked on. Using magic seals is a piece of cake. Don't be too sure. That magic seal won't be useful forever. What do you mean? They have probably prepared new and more complex patterns for magic seals. Not to worry. They must have hidden the magic seal pattern somewhere. If they didn't, the gates to darkness would be useless. I won't keep holding you up as my escort anymore. I can manage now. In that case, I'll be going. There's one more thing. Julius may have some new information, so come and see me if you're close by. And Soma. Don't do anything reckless. Take care. Count on it. You take care too, Yoko. Can I talk to her? I only wanted to talk to her. There we go. Don't do anything reckless. Let's go back and save if we're allowed. Uh, Reanimator said you made a save state because it doesn't let you save. It's so weird. Why wouldn't they let you go and save first? Doesn't make sense. Oh my god, I got the ability to summon a bat. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, there it is. I don't know what's best. I guess flying army. I think that's when you hold R, yeah. It looks pretty cool. You can probably use it to get somewhere important. Up there. And we got another weapon already. I love the speed of this. We've got a Claymore, a heavy two-handed weapon. Oh yeah, that's slow. Maybe too slow. 
a lot stronger though. There's something else there as well. A spear. Maybe that'd be better. The claymore's pretty cool though. And now we have a lot more map to explore too. Should we try the spear? Nah, it's not as strong. I'll just keep using this. And now I have the ability to create tornadoes too. There's so much that you get in this game, like so quickly. It's one thing after the other. And we also have a library where you can read about everyone. And we also have a book about all the different enemies and what they drop and what they're weak and strong against if you care about that sort of thing. Some nice reflection there in the mirror. Although the camera doesn't quite make a lot of sense. What else did we get then? We got a cape. Increase the defense. We haven't got any different armor yet, though. Huh. Yeah, the uh, this thing you summon doesn't have a shadow. Or a reflection, should I say. Oh, secrets. Money and food. I presume that's uh, something you can use as a health item. And we can make zombies too now. I like the movement options too much. I only ever really use the enemy ones. We got bat again. Yeah, I can do that too, you know. You're not special. Okay, we haven't been this way. The joys of having the map on the screen at the same time. More bats. We haven't been through here. We also haven't been on the bit above. I'm guessing that's a save point. Because it's on its own. Oh, you can't go that way yet. Okay. We need double jump. I'm guessing. Should we try the mace? Ooh, okay, it's a little bit stronger. And it's even slower. You have to weigh it up, I guess. There was someone there a minute ago. Maybe this is a save room. Yeah. The save is so fast, I can't even tell if it's doing anything. Yeah. More Batman powers. Uh, where are we meant to be going? Pretty sure we can't go that way. down then I guess we haven't been here yet. We also haven't been in this one room over here. A shop. Hey there he is. Hammer. Hey welcome. So what do you think? Not a bad shop. Of all the weirdest places to set up a shop. Normally I'd tell you to have a look around and spare a few coins to help an old friend but Yoko's in the area. I saw her earlier. She must have come after me. That's not it. Jeez, you sure are quick to put a man down, aren't you? She's here to investigate this cult, she said. Well, whatever the case, I can tell you I'm a lot more motivated now. <laughs> Didn't you come back to meet me? Anyway, have a look around and buy something already. What have we got? Castle map. No reading. Why would you sell it to me? Let's get the map first. Let's get that too. Any good weapons? 
Okay, we have... The axe is good. Let's get it. And some new clothes. Gym clothes. Is there anything really expensive? A good luck charm. So I guess we should get them. The lucky charm's good as well. I think that helps. I don't know whether I'll need that or not. Let's try putting these things on. So I think what luck does is it means that you can get the things out of the monsters easier. Um, and maybe you can get better items out of things too. I like them as they are. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can buy that won't improve anything. Hmm. The scarf does more good than the lucky charm, I think, so let's put that on instead. Can't have both, but that's probably the better option. Unless there's any really difficult to get um, sold. I don't know what that symbol means. Alright, where are we? This is Yoko's house, apparently. This is where she went. Hi, Soma. You're going to act as Julius's contact here. Yes, there was no one living here, so I thought it'd be okay. That rough-looking guy's right across from me. What was his name again? Hammer? Yeah, that's it. What's he doing here? He came to help me. Honestly, you didn't ask him to come, did you, Soma? Of course I didn't. I'm sure you wouldn't, but it's too dangerous for him to be here. Can't you tell him to leave, Soma? I told him already. He wouldn't budge. Besides, it's hopeless now. Especially after someone who's not supposed to be here showed up. Huh? Well, if he wouldn't listen to you, I suppose it is hopeless. By the way, I gained a new ability. A new ability? What? The power of dominance lets you control the souls of monsters, right? So I thought I could use magic to draw the monster souls out and use them. You mean release the souls? Something like that. Of course, I wouldn't need your co I would need your cooperation, Soma. And it's not something that's easy to do. So how do you plan to use these freed souls? Well, I can fuse the freed souls with a weapon, thus creating a new weapon. The souls you use won't be lost, though. Can you even do that? That's rather rude of you to ask. I may not look the part, but I'm considered an exceptional spellcaster. Just tell me if you need something, and I'll show you what I can do. Okay. Oh, and with my magical abilities, I may also be able to reduce the number of souls. I'm not sure you'll need it, but just keep that in mind. So, may I help you with anything today? Weapon synthesis. Okay, we can get this. So, what is it actually synthesizing? Am I using souls to create the weapon? It's been a long time since I played this. Cutlass was crafted. Oh, I didn't realize we could go across and see other ones. Oh, it tells you what you need. Okay. And the number. We can make axe armor. There's a lot of options here. Let's try that. The battle axe was crafted. Soul release. What is the point of this? Well, I can get rid of some bats, I guess, because we've got loads of these. Why would you want to do that? I just didn't get anything for doing that. They just disappeared. Why is there a random girl waving at me? Is it like a puppet or something? Okay, anyway, we got some new stuff. Or was that the same as what we already had? Maybe we didn't get anything. Abominable snowman discovered. That's all it has to say. Okay. Well, we're done in there for now. I think I just wasted a bunch of souls, really. There's another new one. That's the one we had in the intro. Okay. 
guess we go back up. Definitely can't go that way yet. I didn't mean to do that. Whoa, well, no, this bit's just a cakewalk. Ooh, use fangs to tear at foes. Should we try that? Oh, nice! That's a fun attack. Let's use that one some more. Oh yeah, I guess we can't... We can't swim yet. I thought maybe I had that. We'd be able to get somewhere now. I guess that's not the way to go yet, then. is awkward to use. Was that 300 damage on that one? It must have been the critical. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I don't think there was anywhere else I could go in that other area, right? There's Bigfoot. Or the, the snowman, maybe. Okay, that didn't go anywhere. Got to go back down here then. front of my shop. Yoko's waiting to hear back from Julius. You knew she was here and didn't tell me? Yeah, well, what's wrong with you, pal? I was about to tell you, but, well, anyway, this brings the two of us a lot closer. <laughs> As if you have a chance. Did you say something? No. Oh yeah, anything new on sale? Well, let's, uh, let's take a look. I'm guessing not. It's a bit soon to have anything new, isn't it? Okay. We didn't have anything to say then. I thought that would continue the story. of weird some of the sprites have big black outlines and other ones have like no outlines outlines at all like that one i wonder how they decided 
Like, it looks like that witch character comes from a different game, almost. Apparently we're draining the water. A magical door. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Wizardry lab. Everyone's favourite kind of lab. What is that? I want to eat it, whatever it is. And there's a room full of ice. I'm so happy this came out. I've wanted something... N something new to play on the Switch for a while. And I, I know it's a DS game, really. I am also looking forward to uh, playing that Peggle Peggle adventure game. I can't remember what it was called though. Peglin? Maybe. Maybe I'll stream that at some point as well. I did buy some more Switch online points uh, from a system that we've got to work, but it will take a day to turn up. So I do actually have like £45 to spend on the eShop from tomorrow outside of buying this. I might save the rest up for that Famicom Detective Club game though. I downloaded the demo, I'm interested to check that out too. I don't really think that would be a very good game to stream though. That's very slow paced. Throw an axe upwards, don't I already have that? I want to get that, whatever that is. You can see how easy they are to get by that rarity score in the corner. So that one's rarity 3, which I think means it's quite difficult. I don't know what it goes up to. That was easy. Oh yeah, the painting watches you, look. Creepy. That one's rarity too. How is that giant thing less rare? I didn't even get to see what its, what its attack is. Let's try again. Should we try and get one? I'm not going to find out, am I? That's what I mean. This game can get grindy. I remember, I remember doing this on the DS, just going in and out of this room. Wait, I will catch one. I love this concept though for the Castlevania games. They did it really well in Aria of Sorrow as well with the souls. I am not getting this one though. What about if we uh, equip the Lucky Charm instead? Oh, I leveled up. Attack plus two. I'm not paying attention to how much experience points. Uh, these give me when they die. So it's on 472. 386. Come on. It gave me something. Spaghetti? That's not what I was after. Right, I give up. Let's move on. Not sure what the point of that painting is. It's not like it does anything. Yet. I think this weapon might be a little bit too slow. 
Warp room. Press up to warp. I can only go back there for now. Not that I need to. He bonked me on the noggin. I really struggle to decide which one of these games is my favourite because they're all so good in their own right. Oh, that took off a lot of health. Who's screaming? Is it you? I'm not getting any souls, even though I have the lucky thing attached. Oh, there we go. Smack him any enemies with quick straight punches. Should we try it? Oh, okay. This is a close range attack. Is it any good though? Wow, it's very good. Take that! Maybe it's not the best for this room. Let's use that one again. Oh, I can't use it yet anyway. I haven't got enough power. I don't know what's going on at the top of the screen there. Okay, I guess that's something we need to come back to. Now the slow walk back. Uh, okay, should we do that? Let's try that again. Maybe we can't do it yet. Probably need some way of being smaller so you can go up the top. I've got. I should probably go to that save point. Or maybe eat something. Yeah, probably should eat something. There we go. Good job that explosion doesn't hurt. Hey, Frankie's back. He's a bit smaller this time. Huh. Okay. Can't get through there yet, I guess. Now I'm nearly dead again. Ah. Do I have any other food? I've got a bunch of potions, okay. There's Frankenstein again. I need the uh, dash, the backwards dash. Oh, I do have it already, cool. I didn't need to unlock it. I thought it was one of the souls that you would unlock. Apparently not. guy from the intro. Let's see what else do we have. Axe armor. A bit better. Yeah. 
I'll never get the soul out of that creature. Let's see what else is this way. Excuse me. Already been up here apparently. Let's go back in that room just to fill that bit of the map out. dead, you know? Can you not do that, please? Okay, there's a room on the right here. Or oh, do they already try and get through here and it was blocked? I think that's where the Frankenstein thing was. Oh well, I don't care about the one HP things hitting me. Nice double attack. <laughs> that was a lucky dodge there. Another new corridor coming up. get over there though. I guess that's that's why you take screenshots so you remember to go back there. I was doing that a lot when I was playing Aria. So where to next? Go down. Just keep going down. I don't even know if that can hit me from there or not, but better to be safe. Oh, this is new. Here we go, cutscene. You've come just as I predicted. Celia Fortnaya. You're kidding, right? You telling me this punk's the Lord of Darkness? Ha! Huh. Judging matters merely on appearance. Tisk tisk, simpletons. Are so vexing. Time to buy another collector's edition. Have they actually announced it? I assume they will be doing that soon. What do you call me, Dimitri? Hmm, I merely stated a fact. Excuse their behaviour. Welcome to our house. Home to our church. You talk as if you were expecting me. You fear that you all imperil the innocence for who you are and can become. They haven't announced it yet. Let's have a look on their Twitter. I follow Josh from Limited Run as well. He usually gives like little hints. He says, Nice to see three titles we're involved with in today's direct today's direct any guesses and everyone's everyone's saying castlevania for sure i'm looking forward to the uh, rocket knight adventures one that i ordered at the start of the year that should be coming next month i think maybe the month after <clears throat> uh, gonna get that valkyrie chronicle ones yeah that's cool i'm glad that's coming back I remember playing it on the PS3 back in the day. It was really good. Why would you want to resurrect the Dark Lord? We do not desire the Dark Lord per se. For God to be perfectly good, there must be a being of perfect darkness. 
That has nothing to do with me. If this world needs a perfect dark being, one should emerge. Isn't that how it works? Perhaps that is so, and perhaps it is not. What is true, however, is that the power of darkness steadily grows faint. The Lord of Darkness must be enthroned without fail, and not a moment too soon. But that doesn't mean... I heard enough already. Let's rip this punk apart right here and now. Have patience. He will try to stop me using whatever means. There is no need for haste. Going to be the second time you buy it. It's a shame they don't make like a sequel to it. It's been so long. Some people were expecting a Skies of Arcadia sequel as well, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. He's in our hands now. We can destroy him whenever we wish. Correct. This will also serve as a test for the both of you. Wait a second. Test? What test? I didn't hear about that. Are you incapable of thinking even a little? There is but one Dark Lord, and yet there are two candidates. You and I. Duh, I know that. Then get this through your hollow skull. Whoever defeats this boy becomes chosen as the Lord of Darkness. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay. This will make it fun. Next time I see you, punk, I'll burn you to ashes. I shall depart also. I see no significance in my presence here at this time. So those two are the Dark Lord's candidates, correct. They were both born at the same time as Dracula's demise. They are inheritors of Dracula's dark powers. But that's no guarantee that they can become the Dark Lord. They can, by shattering Dracula's soul. But enough talking. If you wish to stop me, I shall be waiting for you at the top. I may even change my mind if you survive my traps. Cliché anime laugh. Let's go take on our traps. Do her traps involve awesome music? Did she put this music on for me? There we go. Save and refill our health. You're al almost done with collecting CIB. GBA, wow. Is that a complete set or is that just the games that you want? Oh wow, what's going on here? An even giant golem. Oh, I remember this guy. Good job it actually let me uh, use the save point this time. Ah, why am I facing that way? That actually does quite a lot of damage if you let it go all the way across, but let's see what else we can use. Let's try that one. I was doing 25 before. I need to wait for it to charge back up a bit. Just a little stronger. If I just stand here, I can just keep dealing 42 damage the whole time. Did I do it? I don't know whether that counted or not. I guess it didn't count the first time. Whoops. There we go. Touch touch screen to shatter certain blocks. Oh, I wonder how that's going to work. Tactical soul takes effect automatically. And refilled all our health. It looks like you can go left there, but there's nothing there. Not the complete set, just everything you want from every region. Wow. Oh, okay. You do it like that. That's weird. I guess it works. They were just showing off what the DS could do. Oh, you can make it slower as well. Cool. That's so weird. I remember this game is full of, like, weird DS features just for the sake of it. It feels so out of place. There we 
guess now we can go back to uh, that part with the lift thing that was trying to take you across the room. I always get confused whether you can stand on them or not. There's a EU exclusive shoot 'em up that you can't find. Is it? Hmm, let me see what. Is it Iridium 2? Or is it Invader? I can't think of many other. Oh, maybe. Um, not Cyvaria. What's it called? The one that on the SNES was the guy at the farmhouse with the spaceship flying above him. Begins with a P. It is Invader. Yeah, that one's... Invader's insanely expensive. It's on my eBay wish list and it never comes up for an affordable price. Yeah, fa Phalanx, that's what I was thinking. Invader's meant to be a really good game though, so if you do ever find it, I guess it's worth the price. And to complete the collection it's worth it too. Um, have you got uh, Ninja Cop? I can't remember what its other name is. Ninja... My mind's going blank. Ninja X? I don't think that's right. What's its other name? It has two names, one in America and one in Europe. You do have it. Wow. Okay, that, that's quite a rare one. Let's see what other rare GBA games I can think of. Do you have... Yeah, what's the other name for it? It's, it's called Ninja Cop in the UK, but it has a different name in America. And Japan. I can't think. Uh, let's think what are the... What are the rare GBA games are there? Sega Rally. If you've got that complete in box, that's worth quite a lot. Um, Tales of Fantasia. Oh, the Castlevania games, obviously. I assume you have all them. Have you got Aria of Sorrow? I think that's the hardest one to find. Now we have to do some awkward touch screen plus actual screen. Oh my god, that's going to be horrible. Maybe I can do it this way first. Not interested in Sega Rally. It's a good port to the GBA. Good, good, you've got the Castlevanias. This is so weird, having to use the right stick. Okay. Oh no, you have to do it in real time. That was fast for this game. Just seen the direct. I managed to watch the direct when it was out. I escaped from work for a bit and went downstairs to watch it. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta break the ice before you get on the platform, else it's not coming back. So I did it wrong. Go about it this way. That's working. I can just keep holding down our and then spin around like that. Okay, now we can go on the platform and move the cursor out of the way. Um, do I have any more recommendations for GBA games? Let me have a think. Try to think of ones that aren't just... Oh, shoot. I got rid of the platforms at the start. i got to do it all again. 
Ah. Oh, um, actually, there's some really good recommendations that you may not have, because uh, people don't usually think to get these games, but they're actually made using the same engine as Castlevania, and that is two, two very specific Yu-Gi-Oh games. Let me see whether I can find out what they're called. You'll definitely want to add them to your list if you don't know about them. Oh, Shaman King, actually. So, Shaman King, Master of Spirits 1 and 2. They're actually Castlevania games. And there's also a really cool Lilo and Stitch um, kind of Metal Slug style game. Hey, C Doggo, thank you. You got those, excellent. Do you have... Here's another really good one. You've probably got Astro Boy. But do you have... Yay, thank you for the subscription too. You got Lilo, excellent. What am I thinking? Treasure GBA games. There's a game that Treasure made before Astro Boy. Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Bad Dream for the Game Boy Advance. It's made using the same engine as Astro Boy and it looks really cool. It's very hard to find, but if you want a, a good game that no one knows about on the GBA, Try and track that one down. Promise it'll be worth it. I think it's that one. Let me just double check I'm actually recommending the right game here. Yeah. It plays just like Astro Boy. It's got the same sort of beat-em-up style. You've got it. Excellent. Man, you're hard to give recommendations to. I'll keep, I'll keep thinking of some while I'm playing through this. And thank you, C Doggo, for the uh, subscription. Really appreciate that. It's been a while since I streamed, so it's good to know that people are enjoying it. <gasps> I found a secret! Can you go back? Uh, okay. Let's continue forward for a bit. I kind of want to go back, though. What did I just find? Garden of Madness. Do you have the uh, the Fire Emblem games? And Advance Wars. I want to go back. I want to see what's on the ceiling. That's going to be really hard to get to, though. I'll try it. Actually, if I do it like that, maybe I can jump off. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Ah, there it is, actually. Okay, let's leave that bit. I think we've still got a chance to do it. Demi Kids, Seam of the Enemy. Yep, card. That with Joe. Nice, that's one that's on my list to get. Do you have uh, Yggdra Union? Swordcraft Story, yes. I have so many people telling me I need to play Swordcraft Story. Hmm. Right, I think I see what I need to do. Let's try it one more time. Uh, did you get one of the sealed ones with HX on it? I assume you got that robot fighting one as well from the same place. Can't remember what it was. Um, oh, do you have the Klonoa games? Yeah, I knew you would have that too. Let's try that. character are you? Uh, 
I can't see actually because I haven't got the stream on screen, but I can do that. Let's have a look. Whoa, why is one of the Toho characters so big? Uh, who's asking? Ori? I don't know. Whoa, you subscribed too. Thank you. Oh, wow. I, okay, what? I can pick you up? <laughs> oh, that's Flaming, Flaming Craig. Flaming Craig. You are your chaos from Sonic Adventure. I didn't know you could do this. Hey. I don't know why that character is so big. I need to scale that down somehow. What else can I do with this? Uh, I can throw a bomb. Okay. Is he going to do anything? I'm going to blow you up. Aha! Oh my god. I didn't know you could do this. Left click to sling an avatar. Yeah, that's Chaos from Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 1. Okay, that's a weird one. What else? Oh, we can put more people in. Okay. There's Amy and Tails and Cream for some reason. I'm not getting to choose these. Um, I can throw some stars around. Why are they saying jump? Okay. Uh, I'm just figuring all this out as we go along. I don't know if they're going to disappear. What have I done? Uh, I can also... choose to... Oh, I can... I can change who you are? Maybe? I can't see what's going on now. Oh, there you go. Now you're a random block. Um, you can be Super Shadow. There you go. As Sonic 3, the movie, was just announced. I guess uh, Flaming... Craig? Flaming Craig? Where is he? You're not on there for some reason. Anyway. That was fun. Let's go back to the game. No, you're Sonic. Oh, you won some points from the... Okay, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I have no clue what I just did. Um, yeah, I, ha I got... Yggdra, Yggdra Union, however you pronounce it. I didn't manage to get the other one, though. The robot one. Do you know what the story is behind that HX thing that was on eBay? I presume it was, like, stock that was found in a warehouse somewhere. Hey, what did we find? I don't know what that is. Um, what's an item? One of the world's three great delicacies. I'm scared to use it. I don't know what it does. I'm trying to think what are the GBA games I could recommend to you. But you probably already got them all. Oh, now we have to do it again, don't we, to get back to the other side. I hope it was worth it for whatever that item is. No way, they found Rule of Rose? I assume that's not going for like 40 euros. That's like 600 at the minute. Insane. I don't even know if it's a good game or not, I just know it's crazy expensive. You bought it for 250, that's pretty good. 
I bought um, Panzer Dragoon Saga recently for a good price. That's something I've been after for a long time. Oh, nice! You got the English version. That's that's harder to find if I if I remember right. Yeah, I'm actually playing planning to play through Panzer Dragoon Saga uh, on stream next month. So look forward to that. I've never played it before, but I've heard very good things about it. And I booted it up just to check that all the uh, connections and everything work properly and I can save on the Saturn and stuff and it seems good. So I've, uh, I've booked out a week in my calendar that should be long enough to get through, to get through it. What's that? Magic seal number two. Okay. Do I not need to know the combination? It was just sat there. Usually I would think there'd be some kind of cutscene to tell me about it. In Italy they found boxes of rule of rose from the UK that got pulled from stores. No way. I assume they're going to slowly introduce them to the market and not just dump them all. But I guess now would be a good time to try and get it. I've been curious for a long time. Oh. It's a mandrake or a corpse weed as they call it in this one. Am I going the right way? I don't think that's the right way. This is the start of a different area. The demon guest house. Well, I guess we'll just carry on going this way. As this is where it took me. I don't know if it's the right direction or not. Um, best to get it soon. It might not be possible. Yeah, true. I don't really know that much about the PS2 library. Um, so if you've got any recommendations for rare games for me to look for, please let me know because I'm going to another gaming market next month as well. So I want to try and pick something up for it. In fact, I'll show you. There is one interesting game for the PS2. That I was recommended to play recently. And it is something that I've owned for a long time. Does anyone know anything about this game? Shadow of Memories. Another game by Konami, actually. Looks really interesting. I do enjoy the uh, sort of PS2 story games. So I'll definitely be checking that one out at some point. Has anyone heard of it? Maybe I'll do that on stream. Oh, I've run out of drink. It also came out of the PSP. I didn't know that. Are we going... I was going to leap back here, okay. No, back at the start. Maybe if we go back to that guy's shop, he might have some new new items for us. I wish I had double jump just to fill in the top of the map. Ah, that's where that guy ran off to earlier. Someone Belmont. Like, I can't remember his name. Jason Belmont or something? Is there any point in even killing these enemies? How much XP do I get? Got a JP exclusive shoot em up. What console is that for? PS2. I really want to get um, Radergy, is it called? For the Dreamcast, I think? And GameCube, maybe? That's one to look for in Japan. And Border Down as well on the Dreamcast. Where am I going? Let's go back to the start of the game. It's the game before Pink Sweets bundled with Moochie Moochie Pork. Oh, cool. I remember playing that on the 360. 360 was actually really good for shoot-em-ups because it had, it had Dodon Patchy and... 
Dodon Patchy Resurrection as well, I think. And then it also had the Death Smiles collection. And it had whatever that Konami one was with all the girl characters that no one cared about. Part of the Gradius series. Uh, Artemidius Excellent, I think it was called. And a bunch of other ones. I was really confused why they weren't on the... Yeah, Cave as well. The cave collection. I was confused why it didn't have that sort of selection on the PS3 as well. Um, and obviously the Wii didn't really have many. It had Castle Shikigami, which is a good series. And it had... Maybe it had Gunbird collection. Uh, you came at the right time, huh? I just got a new magazine in today, UMA News. It's about real monsters. I think it's got news about this area too. It's got to be good. I'll buy it if I feel like it. Hey, but watch out. Don't you dare read it in my shop. These things sell info. If you look at it for free, it's the same as stealing. Oh, that's why it said don't read when I was looking at his inventory before. As long as you get that through your head, it's released every so often. So check to see if a new issue's arrived. Okay, so want to buy it now? Sure, let's see what else he's got too. Maybe we could do with some more potions. Uh, have an ad, won't he? Oh no. Oh yeah, Radigy's on the Wii as well. Uncurse. Maybe I should have one of them. Castle map too. Oh, I already have castle map one. That's annoying that it doesn't tell you. Oh, it does. Stock. Okay, stock one. Stock zero. And here's the weapons. Any new weapons? There's a sword with good defense, but terrible attack. I'd rather just have the heavier weapons with a better attack, honestly. Okay, that's got really good defense. That one's even better. I wonder if it slows you down, though. Whoa, okay, we're getting into some good stuff here. Red Scarf. Let's get that. And let's get that. The luck's going back. Hey! There we go, advert over. I can't remember what I was saying though, sorry. Anyway, we've just upgraded all of our... I don't know what con does. I mean, I know what it does in D&D &D terms, but I don't know... Uh, what it does in Castlevania terms. Do we have... Let's see, we've got a compendium. That's pretty cool. So you can see what all of the different attacks do. Including ones that you haven't seen in the game yet. That's a bit weird to just show you straight away. I'm not sure what everything else is there. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't actually explain what that does. Radigies on the Ultimate Shooting Collection on the way in North America. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were only over in Japan. Excellent. Not that I have a way of playing North American Wii games anyway. I was so upset that North America got um, uh, Excitebot Trick Racing. I loved Excite Truck. I was so excited for the sequel, we never got it here in the UK. Oh, that's collapsed now. We can go this way. The Lost Village. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess we'll carry on over there. And they also got the Kirby's Dreamland collection. And I was really annoyed we didn't get that either. It didn't make any sense why we didn't get it. But I guess we got uh, Pandora's Tower last story in Xenoblade, so we win. In the end, we win.
Maybe his dream collection was just the weirdest omission from Nintendo. Like, why did they not release that? Kirby's popular in the UK. Breastplate, I just paid for one of them. It's not even as good as what I got anyway. Arc Rise Fantasy. Eh, the most generic RPG of all time. I'm not too bothered. We missed out on that one. I feel like that's the most generic RPG ever made. I have no idea whether it's any good or not. I just remember seeing it and thinking, wow, this is just like RPG 101. <laughs> and because the Wii didn't have many, I guess it didn't really have much competition. Have you played it? PC version. Do you mean this game? I'm playing it on the Switch. Here's what else I've been playing. Sakuna's awesome. I've been really enjoying playing that. And Monkey Ball. And Mega Man. Lots of Mega Man. And that Toho game kind of sucks. And some Dodon Patchy. I haven't been playing that much really recently either. Yeah. I need to play... Um... Hey, we've got a follow. Thank you. Andy Fool. I need to play another code uh, recollected. I love those games on the DS. I also want to get Peg, Peglin, Pegland. What's it called? The Peggle RPG. So glad you got the Mega Man collection box. Ah, uh, I'm jealous. Whenever I go back to Japan next, I might just get it for the collection. Even though I've already got all the games anyway. I'm not sure what I'm trying to achieve in this game at, at this point. I'm just going around wherever I haven't been. They're a bit more extreme in this game compared to the one we've just been playing. Oh yeah, I've still got that biting ghost thing. Can we get... Ooh, treasure. Lots of money. And a threat. Is that better than Valax? It's much worse. Is it much faster though? Not really. It looks cool though. Mr. Mosquito. That's a funny game. So random. Uh, what about Freak Out? That's probably the most random game on the PS2. I think it has a different name as well. Can't remember though. Stretch Panic. That's its other name. I remembered. Switch souls and equipment using X. Two sets of equipment may be set using the menus. Equip button. Dark Rated Native Apostle. I don't know that one. Okay, we have two different sets of equipment. Uh, I'll set it up some other time. I'll say that. I'll probably never touch it again. Hey, Joshua, over on YouTube. Hey, man, hope you're doing well. Do you feel like the analog pocket dock is worth it? I do. It's right there. Uh, don't think you can see it. It's right there, just to the side of the screen. And it's always turned on as well. I've been playing. Spoiler for an upcoming video. I've been playing as your dreams. And I use it to capture all the footage for the uh, Game Boy Color. And it sits right there next to my laptop. It's just out of shot, I think. But yeah, I use it all the time. Definitely worth it. I got it complete in box recently, actually. I'll go and get it.
Here it is. I was very happy. Very, very happy to get my hands on this. Really good condition as well with the manual. It's a game I'd wanted for a long time. It's really fun. Uh, did you see Super Mario Eclipse is out? Yeah, I was I was considering playing it actually. I might put it on the SD card and play it on the uh, on the GameCube. Need to buy that one. Actually, I bought a bunch of other cool Game Boy Color games. I'm going to go and show you guys. Okay. I can't show you now because I put them away. I did buy a complete in-box version of Oracle of Seasons recently, though, as I didn't actually own that one. So maybe that's something I can play on stream at some point. But yeah, I am almost done with my Game Boy Color collection. Yay, thank you for the subscription. Excellent. Andy Fall, thank you so much. Let me tell you which which games I've still got left to get for the Game Boy Color uh, video that I'm working on. There's only two more um, for this particular one anyway. Need to get the red one, but you have the blue one. Uh, Blaster Master Enemy Below. That's one that I want to get. And the only other one left for this video is Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. And then I'm done. I have this huge list that I've been trying to collect. And it's almost done. And then I have another list here. There's a bunch I still want to get on this one. Dragon Warrior 3, Crystallis, and oh, two more. Luffy of the Legend Returns and Harvest Moon 3. And then both of those videos can be done. But they're all very expensive games. I don't know where the rest of them have gone. I need to organise that shelf a bit so I can actually like display all the games so I know which ones I've got complete in box and which one I've only got the cart for and stuff. Because I've decided when I do videos about um, interesting games for a system, I want to be able to show the box and the manual as well. Uh, Terry, I think the other one is, for Dragon Warrior Monsters. I've got both of them, Dragon Warrior Monsters 2, Kobe and Terry's Adventure. They're fantastic games too, I love the Dragon Warrior Monsters series. I didn't play the new one though. I don't know whether the one that came out on the Switch recently is any good or not. I might get it when it goes down in price a bit. Have you played the Dragon Warrior Monsters games? I think they're fantastic. I think... I used to think, I don't know whether I still believe this or not, but I used to think they were better than Pokemon. And it might come as a shock to some people. Oh yeah, Legend of the River King, I've got them. They're fun. Uh, they take a bit of getting used to though. How about the Harvest Moon games, have you got them? The Game Boy Color. I have number two complete in box, but I don't have number three yet. Um, Joshua on YouTube asks, what Game Boy Color game were you most surprised by quality-wise? Um, hmm. Stranded Kids or Survival Kids. That was one that I got recently as well, completing box. That blew me away with just the, uh, the amount of detail. It was really impressive. You don't like Harvest Moon. I like the older ones, then they sort of fell off a cliff in terms of quality. Harvest Moon 2 on the Game Boy Color is fantastic. Launches a shot that tracks targets. That sounds good. Let's, uh, let's get it. Finally, we can see what the witch can do. Shame it can't pick things up, though. Played Kirby a bit. We want to play them together with your girlfriend. That'll be fun. Especially with all the monster collecting and trading. I really want to show you guys some more Game Boy Color games. I had a whole bunch over there. Oh, I'm going to go and have a look. Bear with me for a second. Enjoy, enjoy the save room.
I don't want to keep you waiting forever, but here's some other here's some other good ones that I got recently. So I haven't tried this one yet, Daikatana. Apparently it's like a yeah, it's all scratched on the back. It's like a Zelda style adventure, completely different to the PC and N64 one. Here's another heavy hitter, Metal Gear Solid, Ghost Babel. Well, that, that one doesn't actually have the subtitle on it, but that's its official name. So that one is in immaculate condition as well, everything's pristine in that. And there's one of the Harvest Moon games, Harvest Moon 2. I love the artwork on the Harvest Moon games. There's a bunch of other really, really rare Game Boy Color games that I got recently, but I don't know where they are, they're back there somewhere. I have the cartridge for one of them. This one is quite hard to find, Metal Walker. Kind of like a Pokemon style game where you build robots. And uh, yeah, I haven't played it yet, but looking forward to it. And there's there's Stranded Kids. I do have it in complete in box now, which is very, very hard to find. Incredibly difficult to track that one down for a reasonable price anyway. I saw one at the London Gaming Market and they were asking 700 quid for it which is insane. I didn't pay anywhere near that. Hey, I can do that too. Oh, it doesn't know what to target though. Ah, huh, there we go. She sounded so shocked. Rotten meat. I don't want that. Good job you don't automatically use it. The Stranded Kids artwork is awesome. Yeah, it is. I really want to find the box. Let me see whether I can find it. I found it, and I also found another game that I was also very excited to get. Uh, where is the camera? One second. Let's see if I can. I've replaced my camera settings. Bear with me one second. I wanted to try and make this full screen, but I can't find... That should work. Nope. Okay, for some reason it won't let me do the camera full screen. I guess I can... <laughs> That's not going to work either. No. Yes, there we go, kind of. I'll do that. My hair's such a mess. I'll do that for now. Here's another one that I was excited to find. Monster Rancher Explorer. That one's in pristine condition too, look at that. This one's a um, a game in the same style as Solomon's Key, which is one of my favorite games. So really happy to have that one. I love the artwork as well. And here it is, I did find it in the end. And I got it for a much better price than what they were asking in London. Here it is. Finally, I'm so happy to have my own official copy of it. And look at that artwork, isn't that really cool? I love the artwork for that. And there's the back for you. So yeah. Really happy with all of these. I've got I've got a really nice well there's just some of them, the rest are back there. Really nice collection of high quality Game Boy Color games now. So I can't wait to do that video. I've got two more to get. 
Dragon Warrior something. Dragon Warrior 3. Or Dragon Warrior 1 and 2 for the, uh, for the Game Boy 1. Oh, you found it on eBay. Is it complete? Is it Stranded Kids or is it Survival Kids? Because uh, Stranded Kids is the harder, harder one to find of the two. That was the European version. But I think in terms of the game, they're both the same. I definitely recommend it. I was really impressed with the game. Stranded Kids, excellent. That's the one you want. Just because it's harder to find, so... It's just cooler to own, isn't it? And plus I wanted to get the PAL versions of everything. Where possible. I'll just say untested. Um, did they post a picture of the the car so you can just check that it's all official? I never understand why something like that is sold as untested. It's not hard to test. Especially if it's something that's really expensive. Like, surely you would go through the effort of attempting to test it for someone. You're just throwing money away otherwise. But maybe if you can get it for a better price because it's untested, go for it. Yeah, sure. I don't know if you can post links on here, but feel free to DM me wherever. If it doesn't let you. Am I meant to be going this way? I feel like I'm getting really far into this game without having actually done that much. There's a potion on the roof. Nonk. Anti-venom. I'll take it. I haven't been poisoned yet. Can I fit through there? No. Ah, I can probably drop down to that one. These are annoying. Mm, maybe not. Right, let's have a look at the listing. Thanks for that. Let's see. Five days. That's exciting. That looks in really good condition too. Does it have... Yeah, it does have the manual as well. On the cart. It looks good. Slight grace on the top, small depression on the front. Untested. It's worth a try. Sorry, I sent you a pic with some JP games in November. Oh yeah, November last year. Sorry. I wasn't ignoring you. Let's see what you got. That's a nice set of games. I have I have that one on my list to find while I'm out there. I can't remember what the name of it is. Good luck with that listing. I don't think I can get that yet. Probably have to come back here later on when you get double jump. That's faster. Ah! I'm surprised I've got this far into the game and don't have double jump yet. What does it want me to do? 
Oh, it didn't need me to draw it at all. Okay, then. More story. Oh my god, Cthulhu's here. I think it'll work, too. It didn't look like there was anything wrong with it. Looks like it's all been kept in good condition. Excuse me for that rather uncouth scene. You're one of the Dark Lord candidates. I'm Dimitri Blin Blinov. Nice to meet you, Dimitri. You were fighting a demon. Does that mean you've betrayed Celia? You have drawn the wrong conclusion. This is merely a ritual to gain power. A ritual? You witnessed it, yes? Unless you are as dim as Dario, you should have discerned my ability. The ability to copy magic attacks. How observant of you. Now since there is no one else to disrupt us. Hold it, I don't have any reason to fight you. Do you have any reason to be going along with Celia's scheme? None whatsoever. Well then, however, I also have this power I wish to know the meaning of. Its significance. Is that not a natural desire? And for that you want to become the Dark Lord? Is that so wrong? Refining my power will finally provide me with answers. Let us begin. <laughs> got some epic rock music. Hey, he's got that too. Or oh, his power is... Sounds like Mega Man music. I wish there was health bars. That's one thing that's that's missing from the older Castlevania games. Okay, well, I have potions. We'll just keep doing that. Oh, that was easy. He's dead. It's over. You bait me like it was nothing. I won't take your life. Just give up. You dare pity me? This pity is a weakness you'll be sorry for soon enough. Gah! He died anyway. What? Dead? That can't be. I did get his soul? Ugh, what was that? Did I gain dominance over a human soul? No, I gained no power, but what was that aura? What happened? Well, it's not in my list. Is it in abilities? Doppelganger. Oh no, that's just switching the items around, which I'll probably never use. Weird. Something's going to happen later on. There was another item over there. Double jump, where are you? There's so much stuff I can get now. I'm going to spend ages retreading all my steps, aren't I? I really need to remember to take screenshots. Don't even need to pull the map up to take screenshots. I remember when I was playing through the Blaster Master games, taking so many screenshots of the map. If you can snag it for 200 or so, you'll be happy. I know someone who got a copy for 200 last year, so it's not impossible. I think I paid a bit more than that, but not a whole lot more. Oh wow, okay, I didn't expect it to do that much damage. Is that our first game over? Oh my god. Huh? Wait, where's my save file? Oh no. What? What? It hasn't saved? Where's my game? What the hell? It's gone. What? 
Well, I guess that's the song we're playing then. I did not click no at every save point, surely. How would I manage to do that? Well, I guess that's it for Castlevania then. What time is it? Oh my god, I can't believe that. I was really...